When a user says something like, hey Google, order a pizza on example app, or hey Google, show my completed tasks on example app, how does Google Assistant know what to do? With natural language understanding and machine learning. The great thing is, as an app actions developer, you don't have to worry about the overhead of building models, training data, or recognizing different languages because Google Assistant manages the natural language processing for you. You're provided with a collection of built-in intents, or BIIs for short. BIIs are predefined triggers which allow users to quickly access different functionalities in your app through Google Assistant without you having to handle natural language understanding. For example, if you have a to-do app, you can use a BII called Open App Feature so users can say, hey Google, show my completed tasks on example app. You can then arrange for the app to launch and immediately show all of their completed tasks in a single step. BIIs effectively provide templates for patterns of speech and identify the specific pieces of data in the request. You can then use that data to fulfill the user's request within your app. Google builds and maintains the language models for BIIs to understand many common variations of queries related to that particular intent. BII models also support different locales. As Google improves these language models over time, your app's users automatically benefit from better language recognition without any additional development work from you. You can find an appropriate BII for your app through the reference docs, which contain information like description and usage guidance, supported locales, example assistant queries, and more. BIIs are organized into categories like games, food and drink, and shopping. To get started quickly, we recommend the Common BIIs category. Common BIIs are BIIs that the majority of apps can use, such as the Open App Feature BII, which identifies what feature of the app to launch, or the Get Thing BII, which determines what content to look for using your app's own search feature. Once you select the feature you want to support, you'll use capabilities and shortcuts to implement the BII and identify the supported parameters. If you need to match varying user inputs to a single top-level feature in your app, you can predefine these terms as inventory items. Once these inventory items are matched to user requests, they can be expressed as normal Android shortcuts. In our Open App Feature BII example, you could define the user terms Settings and Preferences as your inventory to map to the shortcut ID of the app configuration page. BIIs supporting inline inventory fields are highlighted in the docs. By implementing the right BIIs for your app, you can offload the natural language understanding and leverage app actions to enable your users to accelerate the usage of your app. To get started, check out the docs. You can also join our developer community on Reddit to chat with other actions on Google developers, and stay up to date by following us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.